I'm going to go over uh, one assessment that is uh, done in a New Zealand by NZQA. Now this is an internal standard and the title of the standard or assessment is called carbon credits. So what happens is a story like situation is given and uh, you expect it to show different skills of manipulating numbers. So let's get, get started. Okay, the this is the introduction. Uh, the big day out is a three-day music festival. So this is three-day music festival. At the big day out, audience members can purchase green days. Okay, slowly this is building up. The organizers will use all the income from these to buy carbon credits. These carbon credits will be used to purchase trees which will which aims to offset the carbon emission from the event so what's the story so there's a big day out and because of the big day out it's a fair like or a uh, music festival where hundreds of people gather and because of that there's uh, carbon emission now the organizers of this uh, big day out or music festival want to offset the emission of carbon that's the purpose so they give the option okay so let's get reading this assessment requires you to determine the number minimum number of trees that could be purchased using the carbon credits from the big day out so what they are planning to do is they are giving an option to the people to buy green days now from green days when they buy green days from those responsible attendees of this big, big day out uh, those who are interested in environment, uh, they would give an option to people to buy green days. And from green days, you can buy trees. Okay, so we'll see how from green days you can buy trees later on. Okay, use the following information to find the minimum number of trees that could be purchased using carbon credits. So basically what happens is, from green days you can buy carbon credits, and from carbon credits, you can buy trees. That's the whole cycle. So I'm not reading the whole thing. I want you to pause this video for a while and read the rest of it. <clears throat> I'll give you a few minutes for you to read. Okay. Hopefully you have read the whole thing. Okay. So the important uh, things here is what happens is you buy uh, the attendee of this music festival can, can buy green days. And from the income that is generated from people who buy green days, the organizers are going to buy carbon uh, are going to buy carbon credits, and from carbon credits they can buy trees or they can uh, they can purchase trees. Okay, so this is where your calculation starts. The this is the first point. The audience number. So the audience number. The big day out was 19,000 to the nearest thousand. Okay, so I'll talk about this later. So let us uh, start with 19,000 people. Okay, so if there are 19,000 people, uh, this is not exactly, this is rounded to the nearest thousand. So this can be any number from 18,500. It can be any number between 18,500 to 19,499. Any number between these two people have attended it. So this is only, and the whole calculation is also an approximation on estimation. Okay, so we'll pick this number. Big day out attendance ca attendees can choose to purchase zero, one, two, or three green days. Zero means the people who don't buy any green days. One, two, and three when they when they buy the ticket so when they buy the ticket they have the option either to buy no ticket or one green day or two day or three green days so this is where the crucial so let me change color 23 percent of the attendees purchase the green days that means 23 percent of 19,000 will start with 19,000 I'll talk about rounding later on okay so I've drawn a diagram so this is the big day out so big day out music festival 19,000 attendees rounded to, uh, to 10,000 sorry 1,000 
So 23% buy green days of 19,000. So how will we do this? So let me use a blue color, neutral color. So this is 23% is 0 0.23 as a decimal. So 0 0.23 or 23, sorry, times 19,000. That will give you the total number of people who have who have bought green days. This is 19,000. Okay, so let me get my calculator out. So menu run menu run so this is 0 0.23 times 19,000 that is 4,370 4, people bought green day so you can say 4,370 brought green days now these are the people who didn't buy green days so that will be the rest from 19,000 so you can go 19,000 take away 4,370 which is 14,630 people so 14,630 people did not buy green days or they bought zero green days okay now what's happening one green day cost one dollar 1.3 for New Zealand dollar so the the organizers of this big uh, big day out of the music festival will generate some income from these from these people who have brought green days okay now before that okay uh, okay of those who purchase green days one quarter purchase three green days one third two green days and the rest one green day so let's find the people who bought three green days is one quarter so yeah i have done again from this people you can three there are people who bought three green days two green day or one green day so the people who bought three green days is one quarter of this so that would be now to calculate that that would be 4370 divided by four or well, this is also 25 percent divided by that will be divided by four so let me use a calculator so that is four thousand three hundred and seventy divided by four which is one thousand ninety two point five so you can't have point five people so you can either round this up or round it down so i would i'm going to round it down or not round down i'm going to put it one zero nine two because Ultimately, we want to find the minimum number of trees. So you can't have 0.5 people. So I'm going to say there are there were 1,092 people, 1,092 people who bought three green days. So this is 1,092 people. Okay, and one third bought, one third bought uh, two green days. So the same thing, 4,370 divided by what? divided by three so that is a third of it so that is 4370 divided by three that is again i'm going to round it uh, i'm not going to consider this 0.66 which is two thirds so 1456 people so i can say 1456 people bought two green days and the rest bought one green day. So how can I find the rest? The total 4,370 bought green days. Out of them, uh, three, 1,092 bought three green days. 1,456 bought two green days. So to calculate this, I hope you can understand this. Take away this, take away this. So, so oops, I don't want that. Uh, one, I'll, let me delete it, 4,370, take away 1,456, take away 1,092. That is 1,822 people, 1,822 people bought one green day. Now we need to calculate the total number of green days. So that would be 1,822 times 1. That would be 1,822 plus 1,456 times 2 
plus 1092 times 3. 1092 times 3. Okay, again, use a calculator. So this is 1822 times 1, that is same, plus 1456 times 2, plus 1092 times 3, which is 8010 green days. So this is 8010 green days. So this is the total number of green days that the organizers of the music festival could make people buy. Now one green day cost 1.34 New Zealand dollars. So if you want to calculate the total income that was generated in New Zealand dollars, 8,010 times 1.34. So 8,010 times 1.34, which is 10,733.4. I'm not going to round this down. I'm going to write the exact number, 10,733.4. So the total income was generated was 10,700 and 10,733.4. New Zealand dollars were generated. Now the, the story changes slightly. In the Now you have to go and buy carbon credits okay you have to change this into US dollars because carbon credit you can buy from in US dollars you can't buy in New Zealand dollars so if you go back to the question they have given you that one US dollar is 1.33886 US dollars in October 2010 now this keeps fluctuating so let's think how to change from New Zealand dollars to US dollars so I've written that same thing in a different way. I've written that 1.33886 New Zealand dollars is one US dollar. So my our question is, I want to change 10,733.4, 10, 10,733.4 New Zealand dollars to US dollars. Now you think, would this number that I'm going to get, would it be more than this or less than this? Because when you pay about $1.30, you can say ignore these numbers. When you pay $1, cents, $1 you get one US dollar. So to go from year to year, the number that we are going to get should be less. So at times students struggle to understand whether you're going to divide or divide or multiply. So this is the best strategy to stop and think what's going to happen. The number that you're going to get should be less, okay? So if you divide, would you get less or if you multiply, you get less. So let me, if we, before giving you the answer, so let us do it on a calculator. So let us multiply 10,000. 730 suppose you do this in your exam or in a test times 1.33886 14,000 so we are saying that 10,733.4 New Zealand dollars would give you 14,370 14, US dollars that answer doesn't make sense because this number has to be less so I'll go 10,733.4 divided by 1.33886. I don't like to give students formulas. I want you to think and get to the answer. And even when you get the answer, always stop and think, think whether you're getting the answer that is sensible or not. And this sounds more sensible because you're getting 8,016 point. So I'm not going to round this. I'm going to write the whole thing. So it is 8,016.8. So this is 8,016.8. And I don't have the space to write, so I'm writing only dot, dot, dot. OK. So this is, OK, yeah, we can, I can write this. This is 8,016.8 dot, dot, dot. I want to use the whole number. OK. Now what's the story? 
18 US dollars give you one carbon credit. Okay, that's, let's go back to the question. Uh, okay, a carbon credit cost $18. Okay, look at this. One carbon credit you can buy by using $18. Okay, so now you have to again change this ratio. So you've got 8,000 and 16.8 dot dot dot. We want to change this into carbon credit. So what will you do? Use the same logic here. This is what you want to find. This many CC carbon credits. So 18 gives you one. So this should give you, from 18 you're getting one. So this only get in this is of course this number has to be less than this okay so again the same logic you have to divide this by this so i'm using this whole thing so you can go divide calculator gives you answer that means the calculator has taken this whole thing divide by 18 okay now that is 445.3 now carbon credit let us presume you can get complete carbon credit you can't get 0.37 carbon credit so i'm going to say that is 445 carbon credits. So this is 445 carbon credits. 445 carbon credits. Okay, now finally it says you got you can buy 10 trees for every 3 carbon credits. So again that's the last conversion. 3 carbon credits would give you 10 trees. So my question is if we have 445 carbon credits you get how many? So again, this is a question of ratio. How many trees? So now to answer any question like this of ratio, I want to think three times what gives me 445. So that's my question. I'll say three times what gives me 445. That's my question. I don't know what that number is. Okay, whatever that number comes, 445 is my question. Now to answer that question, I'll go this question mark or that box is nothing but 445 divided by 3. 445 divided by 3 would give you that number. So let me do that. So 445 divided by 3, which is 148.333. Okay, so I'll write this. This is 148 and one third. Okay, so this is. And if you want to check your answer, this times 3, if you times it by 3, of course, you get 445. So divide by 3 is 148.333 or recurring. So this is this should be times 148.3 recurring. So if this increases by this factor or this number, this tree should also be multiplied by the same factor that is 148.3 recurring so if you multiply this is simple logic this in, if you times this number by this number you get 445 so to get trees you have to multiply 10 by this number so we already have that on the number uh, on the calculator times it by 10 that will give you 1483 trees. So 1483 trees is a total number of trees that you can get. 1483 trees is what you can get uh, if we presume there were 19,000 people. Now, of course, 19,000 people, now you can do your working yourself. You can start making up, a, if you change this to 18,500, the numbers will keep changing. So you can show from 18,500 to, you can draw, use your Excel sheet, okay? So this I have prepared an Excel sheet. Now this is a spreadsheet. So this is 18,000, 18,500, 18,600. So green days if you want to do, just to show you how to do this on an Excel. So you go equal, 0 0.23 times this is the times key times this uh, that is a2 will give you the answer so the 4225 and if you uh, highlight that and catch the tail and scroll down 
you'll get the number. So when it is 19,470. Okay, now this you can make 4484. I'll just show 4484. Now the green base is one quarter. So this is how you can do equal this divided by this is the division key divided by four. Okay, that will give you 1064. And then you can scroll down, catch the tail, and that will give you the answer. Two green days is this, this green days, oh sorry, B2 divided by three. And then again, if you catch the tail, you can scroll it down. And then green days, one green day is this minus this minus this. So you can go equal this minus C2 minus uh, D2. That will give you the answer. And then you scroll down, you can get this answer. And total green days would be equal this plus C, C2 plus D2 plus E2. Enter. So this is, and what did I do? Enter. And the, the total green days, is, can you see in 19,000 you get 4,000. And New Zealand dollars would be this, this number, green days, times, 1.34 enter and then you scroll catch the tail and scroll down and this is the amazing thing of excel so us dollars would be this number divided by so you can press equal this divided by one point i remember three three eight eight six enter so this is here we go. This is the in US dollars. Okay, and carbon credits is uh, 18. What was the, okay, let us go back. What was the, how do you change the carbon credits? So let us finish it off. Carbon credits, I forgot. Yeah, $18 would give you. So I think so I did, did some mistake. Yeah, carbon credits. Yeah, I got the formula here. Yeah. So this is H2 divided by 18. And this is the total number of trees, which is, and uh, for 19,000, what was the number? Okay, so let me scroll back. 19,000. So let me show 19,810. Okay, so there is some, what was the answer that we got? Eight, uh, I think I've done some mistake. Total number of trees is probably not right. Okay, so this is how you can do. So don't worry about this. This is carbon credit, yeah. So I think it's divided by 18. For how many carbon credits did we get for 19,000? So let us, let me check. Carbon credit is 243. And I've done some mistake. I think I've taken too much of time. Uh, hopefully you can do the rest and get the answer. So.